Thank you, Madam President, Madam President of the Commission, President of the Council of the European Union, Prime Minister Orban. I take note of the fact that you have been invited to this parliament in your role as the Council President. Let me tell you on behalf of my group, you are not welcome here. This is the house of European democracy, not of corruption, of lies, of propaganda and autocratic rule. Mr. Orban, you have turned the Hungarian democracy into a hybrid regime of electoral autocracy. And on top of that, you are the servant of a brutal and dangerous dictator, Vladimir Putin. And already during this presidency, you have made abundantly clear whose interest you care about. You are not a strong leader, Mr. Orban, because what you are doing is weak. You are stealing democracy from Hungary, money from EU citizens. And honestly, you should not be standing here pretending that you have a fiber of constructive sense of dialogue left in you. For years now, Mr. Orban, this parliament can see right through you. That is, that is why what matters to me is to speak to the people in Hungary who are most affected by your regime the journalists, the human rights defenders, the judges and academics, vulnerable communities like the LGBTI community, the opposition politicians that Orban drags in front of court in order to intimidate them. Defenders of independent journalism name Orban a predator of press freedom. Orban is listed the leader of the most corrupt government in the European Union. Human rights experts speak of a level of fear across society of retaliation, not just for human rights activists, but for artists, for academics, and others in society too. The LGBTI community in Hungary desperately points out that they live in a bubble of hopelessness and terror in the middle of the European Union. All of this makes it clear, you are not a strong leader, Mr. Orban because all your actions are driven by fear. Fear of your own people, fear of freedom. And because you are so scared, you constantly have to spread lies and blame others to justify your authoritarian agenda, also the European Union. Because the European Union gives people hope that your attacks on rule of law will not go unpunished, that nepotism and corruption will have consequences, that the European Union protects the rights and freedoms of the people in Hungary. Freedom is what the European Union stands for, and freedom is what you fear the most. So what we will give you today and in the time to come is our struggle for freedom. Thank you. Now on